Welcome aboard, you groovy people. On the trigger alerts, I guess I need to add that um, there will be submachine guns at the end from the United States Department of Agriculture requesting them. Um, today, it's trapped in a new food desert, the Crestwood Hills shanty town. Um, the Department of Agriculture made an original set of uh, criteria for defining food deserts. Those are shaded in green. And apparently those weren't scary enough, so they added some more. Uh, I'm going to look at the one that's the farthest west in Knoxville, Tennessee. Actually, this extends out into Knox County, Tennessee. And it's this orange area. All of 24 households are without vehicle access in this area. Uh, and there's the, the uh, Community Action Committee bus also known as the CAC bus in these parts. When I wrote to the uh, Metropolitan Planning Commission's knoxfood.org website, they said that, yeah, CAC is one of their partners, except they're underfunded, which is the uh, typical bureaucratic answer to everything. They're underfunded. They didn't say in what manner they're underfunded or who was being denied uh, any service by them due to this underfund. So now here we are in the corner of the food desert with a Sam's Club. Now you got to use a membership to join that and use that. But there's a Walmart superstore that anybody can go to. And the CAC bus will drop you off right at the front door. Too bad there's not a regular bus stop too. Oh, gee whiz, there is, right here. This is a bus transfer station. At least three buses can park there at once. You might not be able to see it very well here, but there are three buses on station right now. Uh, back to the Walmart, the old bus stop was right under that big giant Walmart sign. The grocery store is where, uh, portion is where I just zoomed in on, and uh, I'm panning across the area that is the uh, the old bus stop, which is, by the way, where the CAC bus will drop you off right there if you're disabled or if you have no vehicle access. And it's usually free. They might charge you between $0.50 cents and $3 for a trip. I'm zooming in on the old bus stop across the way. So let's go in here and see if we can find some classic pickles. I'm not really sure why. The uh, rich white leftists hate Walmart so much. Maybe it's because they're scared of uh, this fellow who's walking in. Looks like a perfectly fine young man. Um, go through the uh, produce section. I didn't notice any arugula here, but I'm pretty sure that they carry it. Um, except it's still inside the food desert. Uh, because... The poor people are more than half a mile away from it, apparently. The 24 people who don't have uh, vehicle access here. Uh, maybe the rich white lefties don't like women like her. I don't know. Um, they're, they're just an odd bunch. But, but they just hate Walmart. Mm, well, what do we have here? Classic Pickles. Classic Pickles. This is the only store I've been to in Knoxville that carries Classic Pickles. And uh, Ezra Klein and Charles Fleischman wrote endlessly about a decade ago, a little over a decade ago, about how Walmart put Vlasic out of business. Well, they're still in business. So let's check out some other areas of this horrible food desert. This Desperate, desperate people. This is zooming in on a couple of other stores that have... I know one of them has been here for decades now. Google Maps says the stores are over there on the other side of the street. That's actually a Holiday Inn. These stores are on this side of Executive Park Drive, the north side. This is actually inside the city limits, too, uh, if I remember from the city map correctly. And pan around here, and a nice big strip mall. There's a shell station off in the distance. And there's the El Mercado, and uh, 
They don't have their big sign up yet. I'm not sure why that is. They recently remodeled this mall and redid all the signage. I'm not sure if that's the issue or if it's because they're one, uh, one, I don't know if it's one leaser is uh, splitting one unit because the two adjoining units say 9115 alpha. And now here's the Far East market that's been here for a long, a long time. And it's been in Knoxville for way, this is its second location in Knoxville. Uh, both of those places have an incredible selection of fresh fruits and vegetables and all kinds of all kinds of great food. But since they don't sell two million dollars worth of food a year, or two million dollars worth of sales, including chewing gum, a year, they don't count as having an impact on the area. And here's a Dollar General store. They also carry all kinds of foodstuffs. They just don't carry any fresh fruits or vegetables. They carry canned foods, canned meats, canned soups, um, canned just about anything you would want, um, uh, olives, pickles. I'm going to try to find some Vlasic pickles over here. Remember, I could not find them at Super Target. And... Let's see. There's, I'm sorry, the camera is moving. Might be moving too fast for the quality of camera that I have. Uh, there's some more canned foods and some condiments and stuff. Mayonnaise, peanut butter, uh, pickles. No Vlasics here either. You have to go to Walmart, where Ezra Klein says uh, uh, the place that put. Vlasic out of business while well, they're still in business and they're selling like hot cakes at Walmart. Now let's take a look at the housing in this area. That was something I skipped in the last video. That's why this one is twice over twice as long. This recreational center is just outside of the uh, the border of this food desert. And uh, zoom in here. I actually got some video of this on Memorial Day, and it was closed. So no wonder these these people in this food desert are um, on on the verge of a riot or something. Um, and as the uh, as I wrote on the video, it'd make a good place for a Kroger. It'd also make a good place for an Aldi. Now here, um, making note of a uh, local Knoxville alarmist uh, daily worker type magazine or uh, newspaper that uh, they said there was six dollar milk was six dollars in places like this. Well, it's not. And just a shot of the bus lines. This is a shot overall shot from. The 1998 Department of Transportation map of the area. And here I go driving. Again. This is a city street on the border. The city is, city of Knoxville is to your right and then to the left you leave the city and you're just in the county. And, uh, so, as you saw in that definition that scrolled by, feel free to go back and look at it. This, these food deserts are defined partly if the people living there have a family income lower than 80% of the, of the region. So, the 20% are not in food deserts. And let's go see what this Lower 80% shanty town looks. Here I am about to leave the city. Oh, by the way, in Knox County, when you're in the city, you're also in the county. It's not like Virginia where they're separate things. Everybody in the city pays county property tax. And if you see this fence over here, this would be the Great Wall of Crestwood Hills. That's obviously what's keeping all of these poor decrepit souls from getting to 
that uh, Walmart and those other stores that are in the city. Now we are definitely in the county here. And uh, those peel out marks are probably from a SWAT team going to uh, going to quell a food riot or something. Um, and there's another pair of them coming up here. Uh, they just must have all kinds of trouble in this in this neighborhood. Um, these houses are you know 3,500, 4,000 square foot houses, and they must have two or three people crammed into each one, living on top of each other. Uh, there's a rogue reservoir behind the fence. Uh, somebody's hoarding water to play in or something. Uh, look at the, the, the children don't play in the streets here. It is just such a depressing, dark, dark area. No sidewalks. Oh, it's, look, agony these people must be living in in this food desert. Department of Agriculture says this is a food desert and by gosh, they must be right. Uh, look at all that grass that has taken over where they could be planting food. Uh, uh oh, here comes one of their uh, spy trucks. Um, making sure nobody is escaping, I guess, or going to do maintenance on the uh, Great Wall or something like that. Uh, if you notice over here, there's a lady tending to her uh, subsistence garden. She's having to subsist on flowers until I guess all the vegetables ran. We're still in the grips of the food desert here at this location, Coventry Road. Um, continuing through, oh, look at just dire circumstances of this horrid shanty town. Oh, it is just incredible, crushing, 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 horrible life these people must lead. Um, you notice there's not any cars around here. This must be where those 24 people without vehicle access live. That's, I guess, not one of them. Uh, probably just some wealthy rich passing through. So, oh, even across the street. Look at terrible conditions. And look, no sidewalks again. And it's just awful, awful. Somebody out there mowing his hay perhaps as hidden cattle because out in the county you can't even grow chickens unless you're an agricultural community. So here's this uh, this is just crushing Oh look a uh, fence is broken down. I'm sure all their cattle are wandering around or maybe some rich white uh, cattle rustler, rich white capitalist is taken. Um Crossing meat crust. Oh, there's part of my camouflage for my vehicle. Uh, I didn't want to get caught by the food rioters. Oh, and here we go. A uh, large uh, apartment complex. And uh, there's where all the cars are. Okay, coming around here and look at this, this barren landscape. It's Horrible state of affairs. It's unbelievable, crushing, terrible. All of these people are more than half a mile from a supermarket. Supermarket, mind you, supermarkets have to sell two million dollars worth of product to be a supermarket. So, other than that, they're just a grocery store, and they don't count. Uh, there is freedom right across the street. Over there in those woods, that is the, the not a food desert. Um, that's where West Hills begins. Um, that's where the upper 20% live. You can see the stark contrast between the two. Those are the upper 20%. There's no grocery stores over there, but they're not a food desert because they're the upper 20% and they can get, you know, they all have cars and get wherever they want. Um, you know, look at, you know, I'm being delayed because of lack of vehicle access around here. Um, everybody but those 20 people driving by. And now I'm about to enter the city again. This, uh, diabolical four lane death strip, uh, that they put in that road to the right is the boundary between the city and the county. The 
the city is on the opposite side um, where Walmart and, and uh, Sam's Club and all that is. But now that, that right side over there, that is still part of the food desert. And you can see the stark contrast. No food desert on the left, food desert on the right. The, thank goodness the First Lady is, is bringing this to our attention. There's a giant car wash. Perhaps the water hoarders sell their water over there from the reservoirs. Um, the rogue reservoirs behind their homes. Uh, now, and this is where Sam's Club sells their gas. Uh, it's organic gas too, so I don't understand what, what anybody's upset about. But we're back here, um, from where the, where we began, um, behind the, uh, the Sam's Club from, uh, opposite side of the building from where the, Video opened. Excuse my voice, please. I've got some serious sinus problems and allergies going on right now. And uh, going back through the parking lot, uh, just look at all those empty parking spaces. Each one of those empty parking spaces must represent someone who does not have private vehicle access to to the grocery store. And Coming back up on the bus stop and uh, the bus transfer point transfers people between two different bus lines. Uh, and, uh, you know, if, if only the people knew that the CAC bus would bring them here from the opposite side of town or take them to Trader Joe's that was featured in the last video, then uh, perhaps more can look. And uh, here's the bit about the submachine guns. I'm not sure why they got them or why they're asking for them, but I bet you it's not to help people get to the grocery store. Thank you for watching this video.